Jennifer and Zach, a couple who recently, after years of dreaming, bought ourselves a beautiful 40-foot Colvick Victor sailboat. Life is short and the world is wide and there are so many lessons to be learned. Laughs shared, people met, adventures had, and nautical miles to be sailed. And this is our way of sharing it all with you. Welcome to the Taily. Bloody doing it. <laughs> We have made it to Muros, at the northerly tip of the Rias Islands. We'll be slowing down here for the next few days as we waited for some higher winds and bigger swells to pass through. Leaving Camarinas, we had the most beautiful downwind sail. Woo Despite a little chop on our beam, in my words exactly, it was what Taylor was born to do. <laughs> It is such a beautiful day out here. It's the perfect day for a sail. We've got a whisker pole out and we're flying downwind. Sun's out, waves have dropped. We're just about to round the Cape Finisterre. Surfing some of them. Yeah, we're surfing some waves and yeah, gonna have some lunch in a bit. And we're convoying with Mads and Ava from Sail Life. They're just over there. Yeah, it's a really good day. Happy, Zach? Yeah, very happy. Just beautiful sailing. Yeah, look at this. Yoo-hoo! It's like 15 knots of wind probably. It's perfect conditions for a downwind sail. Lovely. Although we may have jinxed it a little because just after we had filmed this clip, rounding the Cape Finisterre, we hit a rogue lobster pot. We had done such a good job avoiding these since we had left the UK, but a little glare on the water and a moment's lapse of concentration meant one snuck up on us. We were having some lunch, couldn't hear this prop spinning and then all of a sudden, we looked at the water and realised we were just completely stationary and we thought initially that we'd been bitten by orcas and then after that I ran to the stern and looked and we were just caught on a crab pod but we were really caught and we were just completely held the whole boat was just being pulled on this pot so we quickly radioed Maz and Ava and we told them what was happening and they turned round and came back to us um, yeah, but obviously there's very little anyone else can yeah. do in that situation. I mean, it just requires someone to get in the water. Yeah, and so or, that, or get a boat to tow you back. Yeah, we couldn't put the engine on because obviously it's wrapped all the way around our prop. Well, we didn't know that at the time. No, we didn't know that, but we weren't going to really put the engine on. It. But our prop free spins anyway, so it, that's well, it was tangled around it. But anyway, Zach then runs downstairs, gets a wetsuit on, gets a line around him, gets his goggles, and jumps in the water and we've jived by this point and we're held the crab pot's holding us the waves are pushing us and the wind is holding us we're very pinned I and got, i got down the water had a line around me um and just a two mil wetsuit on because i didn't know how long i was gonna be down there for so i just threw one on quickly um, yeah jumped in the water in 100 meters of water my mask on saw it around there managed to get it off the like rudder quite easily actually free us from the main like pot and it whipped by I got the last strand and it just pinged and really the boat started really going I started getting dragged through the water a little bit and I was like oh, I need to get back in and get it off the prop got my breath back jumped back in the water retied the line around <laughs> retied the line around myself jumped back in the water and there was a really hard bit of getting it there's a there's a, like a small gap of about an inch between our rudder and our hull and I had to get the knife in there to get it all out of there and then from around the prop as well because it really twisted itself around it. So I hope we haven't done any damage to the prop in doing that. But Zach is an absolute hero. I think we need a stiff drink tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Mads and Ava are just there. They're heroes too. They really hung back and checked if we were okay. And Mads on the radio goes, well, all's well that ends well, because <laughs> that's what we always say to British people. I definitely didn't think I'd be beeling my partner down into the water and mentally preparing myself for a man overboard situation today. But that's sailing for you. The unexpected can either set you up or set you back. And having just freed ourselves and avoided a Coast Guard call, we both felt strong and capable in our ability to act well under pressure. So after unjiving ourselves, we continued having the most beautiful sail until we reached the anchorage. Checker. We just need like a little depth sound in here, don't we? Yeah, we do need a depth sound. 
what a luxury that There's would be. There's a bird walking on water there, so I don't think we've got time to school. No. Here. It's very clear, isn't it? You two, I just want to jump in. Weird sound, bubbly, bubbly. It's like Why is stepping it in chocolate mousse. Yeah. Have you ever stepped in chocolate mousse? Many times. Many times. So I'm just going on a little solo trip out. I've just put the dinghy there and I've put the anchor there because the tide's coming in and I'm not strong enough to lift it by myself. But Mads and Ava from Sail Life cooked us the most amazing meal the other night. And so we've decided tonight is our turn to cook them a meal. And we've got some fish and some rice and some roasted veg, but we don't have a dessert. So I'm off into town to find a little bakery and hopefully we can pick up some local Spanish sweet treats for dessert. Look at this place. That all fills with water when the tide comes in. I just walked through a bit of a, a farm and a really nice Spanish guy in very broken English said to me, go quickly because the sea comes in. So I'm on a quick rush before the dinghy gets swept away and I can't get to it. That was a big bail. I went in and I said in Spanish, do you have anything sweet? And he said, no. And then he pointed to the smallest shelf with sweet stuff. And I picked up this and I have no idea what it is. Some kind of fruit compote. I'm going to go home and maybe try baking a pastry or something with this. It's going to, or a cake. I don't know. It's probably going to go really badly, but at least I got it, I guess. <laughs> Zach is just in the water now, checking out the hull. I haven't checked the prop and everything since we went over that lobster pot the other day, so he's just in there sussing it out. And we've also got a layer of like slime on the hull, so he's gonna just see whether it's slime or whether there's any growth. There shouldn't be any growth because we only anti-fouled a noise. Bird. We only anti-fouled a few months ago, so there shouldn't be any growth, but he's just gonna see, and if there is any growth, he's gonna get it off. We are looking a little bit dirty. How's it looking? It's mostly just slime. Everything looks good under there though. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. The anodes are doing the job. Yeah, they're They've been it. eaten slightly, all Don't. of them. Yeah, that's good. I'm just gonna have a proper look around the boat now. Yeah. Just popped into a tiny little shop and we picked up this massive peach. It's definitely a peach. It's definitely a peach. I thought it was an apricot for a second. It's a bit big for an apricot. <laughs> and we also picked up this, which we didn't realise what it was at the time. But then we realised afterwards it says in perfect English, crunchy white chocolate nougat. But it's Christmas. <laughs> so we had to pick that up. So yeah, a little snack. <laughs> Oh 
my gosh, this is the aftermath. Look at the prop. That's crazy. Wow. The majority of the bad weather had passed. We had recharged the batteries, both ours and Taylor's, and we were raring to sail again. This time, we were heading to the slightly bigger town of Palmera, just 28 nautical miles south of Muros. I don't think the camera's really getting it, but it's definitely a sprightly sail today. The waves are quite large, but there's also kind of chop from the wind. There no time, Zach. So Athena dropped their anchor in the anchorage and a fishing boat has come along and put just a massive net, it's line a, it's of net. It's insane net. Yeah, it's a massive just line of net around. So we can't can't actually go there right now because he's just yeah the whole area is just net now so we're gonna head along to the next they might be quite quick actually Athena this is Taylor it looks like they're already starting to close the net that they've just put out it might be worth just waiting around here for a few minutes if we still want to anchor here over Taylor this is Athena yeah we'll just wait a few minutes see what happens over see <laughs> circles together. What's happening? Oh my god! There's fireworks going off just above the boat. Or, I don't know like, if they're fireworks but they're... They sound like gunshots. So we are heading into town. There's apparently a really good hardware store here. We saw on the anchor app. That was close. So, gosh, it's a big old ring. Steps. Lovely. Every kind of. Very. Wiring. Yeah. Cool. It literally is everything. This is epic. So we found the hardware store and it was excellent. They had pretty much everything you could want in there. They didn't have well, apart carburetor. Well, we actually needed. Yeah, they, had carb they didn't have carburetor cleaner, a pump or an angle grinder. There's other things we've needed for a while though. But we did get a lot of things we did need. You know from ages ago, we had a bin saga and we bought far too big a bins. Uh, this is not going to work, is it? So now we've decided to downsize and we've got three little bins. We've got a little food one, a recycling and a normal waste one. A little cat! He's like, what are you carrying? <laughs> and we're just exploring the town with our bins in, in tow. Is it? It's lovely here. Let me in, please. What? <laughs> How's your funnel? Zach! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Who oh. needs... <laughs> I was going to say who needs toys before I remembered you're an adult. <laughs> oh. We always start a job and we're like, pull up, pull up. Oh, it's not awful. He's painting. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, a lot of our boat needs a bit of work. <laughs> a lot of floors. Yeah? Yeah, just do it. Pull it up. Get rid of it. Burn it. New boat, new floor. So if you can't tell, it's really, really cold this morning. I've just taken a dinghy ride over to just get rid of a load of our recycling, some of our rubbish as well. So I've just dumped it in these. So it's good, I actually get rid of all of that. And right now I'm gonna to go to a bakery and get some fresh bread, and maybe some other things for the day. And then later on today, we're actually going for a really nice hike, which is not massive. It's only like seven kilometers each way, so. 14 kilometer hike, so it should be quite nice, but it's a beautiful morning out here and it's dead quiet. Wow. Wow. 
Gracias. Gracias. 4 con 10. Ah, gracias. As a mission of success, I got two pan chocolates, or what look like pan chocolates, and a big loaf of bread, which lasts a few days. How's the pan chocolate? Amazing. It's like just a one singular tube of like Nutella. Yeah, I don't know if you call it pan chocolate, but that's what it looks like to me. It's really good. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> I'm currently down in the a pit. Kind of a pit. We've just got these two bins yesterday, finally, because we were just having like kind of bin bags in like one of our cupboards, which is horrible. So we finally got some actual like nice bins made of 100% recycled plastic, which is a really nice find. So they should be good. We just need to like find a way of securing it. I'm just gonna be using this old bit of wood which I've got to just sure these up and make sure they don't slide around low. So I'm literally just gonna be placing it there and cutting it and probably not even trying to glue it. I'm probably gonna to try to just wedge it in there to stop them going. So a bit of a friction fit. So hopefully I can cut it well enough and it can just stay. Becky, you want to come and look at this? Yeah, that looks perfect. Do the, the job, eh? Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, it looks finally like neat and tidy in there again. Well done. I'm here with Ava. Hello. And we're just walking up to a waterfall in the valleys out here in Spain. <laughs> and the boys are ahead. They are on a, a mission. Yeah, but they're just leaving us behind. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's it's beautiful out here. Just found some really yeah. local Spanish, very local mm -hmm. Spanish houses, and it's getting warmer, which is quite nice because it's been a bit cold for the last day. Yeah. So yeah, excited to find a waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> little ones, they're little little pickles. Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> a few hours later we reached the Piscinas Naturales de Rio Pedras, an incredible gorge with lots of pools and waterfalls. After a quick bite to eat of that odd fruit compote from Muros, we went for a little dip. Oh, oh. oh it's painful! <laughs> Today I'm doing something that's been long overdue. These are from our saloon area and the floorboards for it and they're looking awful at the moment. Before we left I had enough time to sand it but we didn't really varnish it or anything like that and I thought they'd be all right but every time we dropped a bit of water on these they kind of stained it a little bit. So today I'm gonna sand back each one and then varnish it and then hopefully it should actually keep how they are. I'm just doing it in a, a 240 grip because it only needs a very light sand on them. I've already done a small area just to see how it comes up. I'm pretty happy with how the 240 is doing. So I'm give it a go by hand. If there's some areas which are a bit more challenging, I might bust out an electric sander, uh, the multi-tool or something like that, but this should do the job. Mm. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's better than it was. Yeah, it'll blend in a bit more. <laughs> At least it won't look grubby because the white just looks grubby, doesn't it? Yeah.
We got pretty into it and spent the next few days painting suns onto the floor. Because why not? And varnishing it all. Thanks for watching. See you next week as we sail to paradise and everyone's naked. We couldn't film or anything because it's a nudist beach and it's not just a topless nudist beach, it's a full on naked nudist beach. <laughs>